Welcome everyone, Dexter here from A2K. And today, I'm excited to share the top favorite time-saving AutoCAD tips that all users should know. So we'll first look at the top tips for beginners. Beginner tip one, quick access toolbar. Keep your most frequently used tools in the quick access toolbar, QAT, right at the top of your screen. Customize the QAT by clicking the small pull down control button on the right. You can check and uncheck the commands you want quick access to. Here you can also change where the quick access toolbar docks, or even turn on the old style menu bar. You can also drag the elements within the quick access toolbar to change the order in which they appear. Burners for a fast way to add a ribbon command to the quick access toolbar, or I click any command icon on the ribbon, and then select add to quick access toolbar from the pop-up menu. Similarly, right click on any quick access toolbar item to remove it. Beginner tip 2, layers. Resist the temptation to create everything on one layer. Organize your drawings by assigning objects to layers that are associated with a specific function or purpose. For example, walls on one layer and doors on another layer. With layers you can associate objects by the function or location, display or hide or related objects in a single operation, specify line type, color, line weight and other standards for each layer. To see how a drawing is organized, use the layer command to open the layer properties manager. You can either enter layer or LA in the command window, or you can click the layer properties tool on the home tab of the ribbon. Burners got lots of XREFs and therefore lots of layers. Increase the max sort variable from its default of 1000 so all your layers can sort correctly. Beginner tip 3 Zoom. Follow the prompts displayed after the zoom command to view your drawings exactly how you wish. Zoom all adjusts the magnification of the drawing area to show all visible objects or the drawing's limits set with the limits command. Zoom extends displays the maximum extent of all objects. Zoom dynamic pans and zooms using a regular view box. The view box represents your view, which you can shrink or enlarge and move around the drawing. Positioning and sizing the view box pans or zooms to fill the viewport with the view inside the view box. This isn't available in perspective projection. Bonus 1. If you have a mouse with a wheel, double click the mouse wheel to activate zoom extents. Bonus 2. Use the command V tenable to turn off smooth view transitions, which occur during panning and zooming. Setting it to 0 turns it off for pan zoom rotation and scripts. Beginner tip 4. Object snaps. Use object snaps or a snap to draw objects precisely in relation to other objects in your drawing. For example, you can use object snaps to create a line from the center of a circle to the midpoint of another line. You can specify an object snap whenever you are prompted for a point. By default, a marker and a tooltip are displayed when you move the cursor over an object snap location. To specify an object snap that a prompt for a point, you can Press Shift and right click to display the object snap shortcut menu. Right click and choose an object snap from the snap override sub menu. Enter the name of an object snap. Click an object snap button on the object snap toolbar. This will turn on running object snaps that will persist through all subsequent commands. Beginner tip 5 External references. Insert any drawing file as an external reference. Xref and changes made in the reference drawing are reflected automatically in the current drawing when opened or reloaded. Open the external references palette by using the Xref command and select the DW icon to attach files. Attached Xrefs are linked to but not actually inserted in another drawing, which avoids increasing the file size. When you attach an Xref, the default path type is set to relative to avoid broken Xrefs in the future. If you have relative references in the current drawing and save it to a different location, AutoCAD will prompt you to update the relative paths. Bonus 1. To find an external reference in a complex drawing, select an item in the external references palette to highlight all visible instances in a drawing. Conversely, select an external reference in a drawing to highlight its name in the external references palette. Bonus 2. Easily edit an Xref by selecting it. Then right click and select either Open Xref or Edit Xref in place. Beginner tip 6. E-Transmit. When sharing DWG files containing Xrefs with others, package and deliver groups of drawings and related files using E-Transmit. This prevents broken links and other errors when someone else opens your files. 
XREF links will be working when you share the file with someone else, since they don't have your reference files. To create a transmittable package in a folder, click Application Menu, Publish, eTransmit or use the eTransmit command. The Create Transmittable dialog box is displayed with options. When you select a set of drawing files in a transmittable package, it automatically includes all related dependent files such as XREFs and font files. Beginner Tip 7. Make Mistakes Don't be afraid to explore AutoCAD and make mistakes. The more mistakes you make, the better you will become at using the software. To aid with experimentation, AutoCAD offers many options to correct errors. Undo UU reverses the effect of commands. If you specify the number of preceding operations to undo, you can avoid entering the command multiple times. Erase removes selected objects from a drawing. Oops restores objects erased with the last erase command. Purge removes unused items such as block definitions and layers from the drawing. Overkill removes duplicate or overlapping lines, arcs and polylines, and combines partially overlapping or contiguous ones. So now we'll take a look at the top tips for advanced users. Advanced tip 1. Keyboard shortcuts. Take advantage of AutoCAD specific keyboard shortcuts to save you valuable time. You can even create or modify the existing shortcuts. Click Manage tab, Customization panel, User interface or type CUI into the command line. In the Customize tab, Customizations in, File name, Pan, click the plus sign next to the keyboard shortcuts node to expand it. Click the plus sign next to the shortcut keys. To create a shortcut key, in the command list pan, drag a command to the shortcut keys node in the customizations in, file name, pan. To modify a shortcut key, select the shortcut key from under the shortcut keys node. Bonus, not to be confused with command aliases, which are abbreviations of commands used in the command line. Edit or create aliases by going to the Express Tools tab of the ribbon and clicking on the command aliases tool. Advanced tip 2. Right click. Right click to access contextual pop up menus, a productivity enhancement favourite. Since the menus are contextual, you get commands that are specific to what's selected. If you are someone who uses a mouse right click as enter, you can still have the best of both worlds. It's easy using this time sensitive right click feature. To turn it on, simply call up the options dialog box. Go to user preferences tab and then select the right click customization button. You'll get a second dialog box that contains the control for time sensitive right clicks. When enabled, right click will still function as you prefer. With a single quick click working as enter, but now by holding down the mouse button just a little longer, a quarter of a second by default, you'll get the contextual pop up menu instead. Advanced tip 3 Isolate objects. Isolate a selected group of objects for easy editing in a complicated or busy drawings. The Isolate Objects tool, Isolate Objects, makes non-selected objects in the drawing temporarily invisible. Start this command from the right click menu or by typing Isolate Objects in the command line. When you've finished editing or working in the clean area of a drawing, you can end your object isolation and bring back any hidden objects simply by using the Isolate Objects command or an object isolation right click option. Advanced tip 4. Move, copy, rotate. Use Express Tools like Move, Copy, Rotate located in the Express Tools tab of the ribbon to speed up your workflow. Move, Copy, Rotate allows you to perform any or all of these operations by only selecting the base point once. Go to the Express Tools tab of the ribbon and click the Move, Copy, Rotate tool. Select the object you want to move, copy, rotate or scale. Select the base point and then follow the options on the command line or cursor menu to select the operation you want to perform. Each time an operation is completed, the options will appear allowing you to choose another operation using the same selected object and base point. If needed, you can change the base point by selecting the base option. Advanced Tip 5 Dynamic Block Save time and decrease file size by utilizing dynamic blocks. 
Create one block that can change shape, size or configuration depending on the usage instead of inserting multiple static blocks. For example, instead of creating multiple blocks for different table types and chair settings, you can create one table block. Once the block is inserted, you can select the table type at any time. You can also define dynamic blocks that can be stretched, rotated, flipped and more. Click Insert tab, Block Definition Panel, Create Block. Back in the drawing, double click the block and select OK on the Edit Block Definition dialog. This opens the Block Editor environment and the Block Editor ribbon tab. Add constraints, actions and parameters rules using the properties palette from within the Block Editor. Want to perform calculations right from within your drawing? The Quick Calc Calculator can be used to perform calculations within the AutoCAD drawing environment, and the value thus calculated can be sent directly to the current prompt for the command in progress. In AutoCAD, geometric values such as distance or angular measurement are often required to draw an object. In most situations, you might know the distance or angle required to draw an object, but there are times when those values are unknown and need to be calculated. Enter QC in the command line or click on the Quick Calc tool in the Utilities panel of the Home tab. Advanced Tip 7 Specialized Toolset Download any included AutoCAD toolset and get thousands of intelligent objects, specialized tools and automated processes built specifically for your industry. All 7 toolsets are included with the AutoCAD 2019 including Specialized Toolsets subscription. Well that's it guys, and thanks for watching today's webinar. And to learn more, you can download your free AutoCAD tips book from the link shared in the description. Bye for now.